Hi, it's Charlie Minato from halfwheel.com, and this is the Davidoff Murano glass ashtray. Now, most of the time when we are reviewing cigar accessories here at Half Wheel, we try to review products that are new and available. We're trying to give sort of buying advice. However, this product is not new, and I don't believe it's all that available, particularly if you're here in the US where I don't think it was ever actually sold officially to US stores. However, thanks to the internet, I saw some pictures of this ashtray and really, really liked the way that it looked. And so I bought one and now I am reviewing it. So the Davidoff Murano glass ashtray is a single cigar ashtray, and you can see there's one place to put a cigar up here. I do not know the official price. I suspect it probably varies widely where you bought it, depending on the country. I do know that we paid a little less than 245 euros in October 2022. At that time, the euro was trading for less than a dollar, which meant that the price was about a little less than 240 US dollars. Now, uh, the ashtray, as the name would imply, is primarily made of glass, but it is not entirely made of glass, and that would be because of this metal stirrup. It is a pretty classic cigar stirrup, so it's concave for your cigar to go inside of it like this. Uh, it's also fully removable, um, which makes cleaning a lot easier and allows you to move it around the rim of the ashtray. In promotional shots from Davidoff, you will typically see it parallel with this Davidoff logo, which is pretty subtle, at the front of the ashtray and then the stirrup at the exact opposite end. Um, I found that that's probably the least desirable position to put the stirrup in, but you can move it off center if you'd like and even all the way around uh, to the other side of the rim. Now, as far as the glass is concerned, which is, I think, really the star of the show, it's super interesting, um, both in terms of the shape and of the color. There are actually three different color options. They all have this white exterior, but the interior bowl is a different color depending on which one you buy. This is the opal from what I understand. Um, and it looks anywhere between a black to a licorice. Uh, you can see it sort of as I move it around, depending on how you catch it, depends on how it looks. And the interesting colors, uh, it's both brown and uh, an olive color. I find that uh, I can see the brown and olive colors a lot more on this side of the ashtray than I can on this side. Um, so around the front of the ashtray, I think that that's due to the light coming in. Um, it's not really easy to see on camera. I guess you can kind of see it over there, but I think that the light sort of comes in and shines through it and allows uh, for more of the brown and olive colors to break through than over here for whatever reason. Uh, but the color is sort of secondary. Uh, for those wondering, the other two colors, there's a red color as well as a gray color. I suspect they both have the sort of different color depending on the angle. Uh, but back to the more interesting part, and that would be the profile. So it's actually kind of like a seashell in a lot of ways, particularly if you look at it from the bottom. Um, but it, it really just kind of depends on the angle you catch it at. Uh, it is not a perfect circle, which is apparent if you hold it like this or if I hold it like this, you can tell that this is not a perfect circle. If I hold it like this, it's, it's a lot less obvious that that is not the case. Um, in terms of the opening, it is five and a half inches from top to bottom and about 6.1 inches from here to here. So a little bit wider than it is taller, but of course that depends on how you place the ashtray. Now the other super unique part of it, or one of the other super unique parts of it, is that it is is off-centered about where it, it sort of rests. So there is the period or part of the ashtray at the bottom here that is flat. Um, it's the only flat part of the ashtray to my knowledge, and it's not in the center of the bowl. And so what that means is that when the ashtray is resting on the table, uh, it's sort of positioned over here, the center of gravity is here, even though the ashtray is sort of ending over here. And so it swoops upward at this very interesting sort of profile. And then when you combine that with the three dimensional aspects, it looks even more interesting in my mind. Now, uh, there aren't really any sharp angular parts. There are some that kind of get created here, uh, but the overall profile is very interesting. I find it to be very soothing or at least as soothing as an ashtray could possibly be. So on to the good parts. Number one, it's the way that it looks. Those of you that have read or watched other cigar accessory reviews of mine know that I like modern looking cigar accessories. Certainly checks that box. And that I also like ashtrays that don't initially look like other ashtrays. Davidoff did make another ashtray that looks very, very similar to this ashtray. But other than that particular Davidoff ashtray, I can't think of another ashtray that looks quite like this. Uh, in person, it looks as good, if not better, than it did in pictures. I am not disappointed at all in the way that it looks. Number two is the build quality. Now, I don't know about the stirrup, but the glass part of it is described as hand blown. And what that means is that it's probably going to have some minor, minor imperfections. And it does, there is some bubbling at the bottom. There's also a couple of small bubbles um, on the exterior of the ashtray. 
They are very difficult to see unless you sort of are closely examining the ashtray. But because it's hand blown, it means that everyone's gonna be a little bit different and those sort of imperfections and that uniqueness, I think it's part of what you're getting when you buy a quote unquote handmade product. Um, but overall, I you know, if even if I thought this was made by a machine, the overall execution is pretty, pretty good. Number three is cleaning. It's pretty easy to clean. The fact that it is made of glass or primarily of glass means that wiping away ash is pretty easy. The fact that the stirrup can be removed is very helpful. And it's also nice that it has this very, very large bowl, which means that if you have big hands, you can get into the crevices. There are no really sharp angles or small pieces uh, where ash can get caught. So it's pretty easy to clean. I don't know if it would do well in a dishwasher. I did not try that. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary on that regard. So while I find the ashtray to be pretty and, and sort of looking at it now and reminding myself of how pretty it is, it's very nice looking, uh, but I did not enjoy using this ashtray. And it's a little bit complicated. There's a lot of physics involved or, or it's, it's all kind of physics based. Unfortunately, the problems are all kind of intertwined. They're all related to stability. And because they're all related, seemingly problem A makes problem B even worse and whatnot. So I'm gonna start with the first one, which is that uh, the ashtray likes to move around a lot. So this is the position that Davidoff has the stirrup in, so as far away from the logo as possible. I'm going to uh, turn it around 180 degrees, so now the stirrup is facing you. And I'm gonna give the ashtray just a pretty minimal amount of force. And you can see it's gonna do more than a full rotation. Um, now, it's, uh, I guess interesting to watch it do that. Um, but that speaks to sort of how little friction there is between the glass bottom of the ashtray and uh, the surface that it's resting on, in this case, a wood table. I suppose you could smoke your cigar on like a carpet lined a a table or something. I don't know. You could put like a placemat or something down to try to re reduce the friction, but, or create more friction, sorry. But uh, it's very slippery. And uh, I'm not really concerned about like the 360 degree turntable action of the ashtray moving. But what I am concerned about is that any sort of movement on the table uh, reverberates into the ashtray, which can cause the cigar to fall off. And then also that motion of taking a puff and then putting the cigar back down in the ashtray it means a lot of times you're pushing the ashtray and it starts to move. And when the ashtray is moving, your cigar is moving, which means that it may no longer be rested on the stirrup itself. And that causes mess and sort of defeats the purpose of having an ashtray. Now, you will note that I have not placed a cigar on the ashtray during this portion of filming yet. And that is because it is very difficult to do without causing problems, particularly in this alignment. So once again, this is how Davidoff has this ashtray pictured um, like in promotional images. I'm gonna start with this uh, pretty standard Davidoff Robusto, and I'm just gonna place it down and you're going to see the cigar fall off. And we'll do this again. So I'm gonna get the ashtray to be stable. And this time I'm gonna try to make sure I put 50% on and 50, okay, doesn't even matter. Um, and just in case you're wondering like what happens if you do this with a different size, uh, you know, same results. Uh, and yeah, it's not great. So the good news is that the stirrup is not permanently affixed here, so I can move the stirrup around. And moving the stirrup closer to the Davidoff logo up front helps to move it closer to the center of gravity, which helps to avoid that problem where the ashtray, the ashtray wants to tip. Uh, because in this motion, it just doesn't, like you can see it, it it's so little force and it's uh, bouncing up and down already, let alone with some weight over here. So if I move the stirrup over here, um, it's no longer, so to give you an idea, this would be sort of uh, straight. You can see it's off center. And I can put the cigar, and once again, I'm gonna try to very carefully get 50% of the cigar on here. It doesn't quite work like that, but if I purposely put more of the cigar's uh, length over the bowl of the ashtray, I can get it to be uh, affixed like this. So just to do it um, from a different angle, this is me with putting more of the cigar's body over the bowl of the ashtray, works fine. This is with me putting like 50% even and it's falling off. Now, the other problem that's happening here is that the uh, stirrup really clings on and is designed to cling on in the position where it's as far away, you know, in parallel with the Davidoff logo. So if I hold the stirrup like right here, I can actually move the ashtray all the way around with the stirrup. And if I just move the stirrup over slightly, so if I go from like the six o'clock to the five o'clock position, there still is enough friction for me to get this, but it's it, you, the stirrup, as you can see, kind of now is falling off. And if I go to like a, I can't even get to a three o'clock position. So if I get 
I don't know, maybe about a four o'clock position. At this point, I can move the stirrup without really moving the ashtray until it catches something. And that's because of the way that the stirrup itself is designed, particularly with these two bottom pieces. So ideally, I'd like to have the stirrup over here, right next to the Davidoff logo. Um, and that would mean that it's sitting right on top of the center of gravity. Unfortunately, the way that the stirrup is designed, um, it won't go like this. Like you, you can't even, or I can't even affix it. It's just gonna be upside down. Um, so that's useless. Now, the good news is I can turn the stirrup around um, and place it inside of the ashtray like this. And in this position, it is angled downwards at a slight angle so that the cigar would be pointing into the ashtray. And so if I grab the Robusto again and I put 50% of it in there, it will stay like that. I will acknowledge that it, it happened there. If I take a puff and just sort of haphazardly put it down, it has a propensity to fall inwards. And in fact, that's because, I don't know if you can see it right here, but the stirrup itself is become dislodged from the edge. Now, if I sort of compromise here, and if we say the Davidoff logo is at a 12 o'clock position, and I put the stirrup at a one o'clock position, this was about as good as it got for me. Um, and particularly if I was conscious and was trying to put more of the cigar uh, off of the stirrup uh, and less over the bowl, this would create it so that the cigar would push down on the end of the stirrup against the edge of the bowl, and I could get it so that I could even smoke some heavier cigars that would be unimaginable to smoke from the sort of six o'clock position of the stirrup. This is super complicated, and it's annoying, and it's very difficult to pay attention to it like during the cigar access review. Now imagine taking a hundred plus puffs during a cigar and trying to hope that you remember that you need to be like constantly manipulating where the cigar is going and how much of its mass is hanging over the stirrup versus over the bowl of the ashtray versus off of the ashtray itself. It creates a mess, like a mess in my brain and a mess while smoking cigars. And that is why I was not particularly disappointed to stop using this ashtray. Um, it's why I haven't used the ashtray again since then. It looks incredibly impressive, but it is a pain in the ass to use, and that's a, a deal breaker. So this is the part of the review where I'm supposed to tell you whether or not you should buy the Davidoff Murano glass ashtray, and if that's not apparent, I don't know what is. It's really pretty to look at. It was an absolute disaster to use. Do not buy the ashtray, uh, just just don't. Um, if you'd like to read reviews of ashtrays that I would recommend buying, you can check out halfwheel.com. There's cheap ashtrays and there's super expensive ashtrays on there. Uh, you can also read reviews of other cigar accessories like lighters, cutters, humidors, humidification products. We also review cigars on a sort of near daily basis at halfwheel.com and on a pretty much daily basis. We write about what's happening in the cigar industry, whether that's new cigars, new cigar accessories, or regulation type things and other things happening in the cigar industry. Check all that out at halfwheel.com. Just, just don't buy this ashtray.